Hello everyone and welcome back to one of these random videos that I like to make <laughs> every now and again. So this one is random ideas that I just come up with and I just throw on a list and then I'm going to read them out. I did this like a year ago of I forgot how many ideas, it was like 30 or so I think. Either upcoming updates for Payday 2 or stuff that can be in Payday 3. And before I get into this video, I'm actually really happy to announce that I've been partnered by Overkill. I'm like, uh, I'm, I still, I honestly still cannot believe I am actually being partnered with them because I remember when the partner program came out like, what, four years ago, three years ago now? Um, I tried to get in, but never heard back from it. And then, like I said, three years later, I got contacted by them and I finally got in. So I'm really, really happy about that. I, mean, I still remember back in the day, it used to be like overkill approved or something like that. <laughs> a little bit of a disclaimer as well. Some of these um, ideas I had are very strange, honestly, just like the last video, I guess. So I'm not fully expecting any of these to go into the game, honestly. I'm just throwing out some ideas that I had in my head. So anyway, the first thing is quality of life changes. A noisemaker for stealth or like a whistle for stealth. I remember in um, Raid World War II, you had a coin that, can, that you can use as a throwable. Maybe something like that, or like I said, maybe a whistle to attract guards to certain places or move guards. Because especially in Shadow Raid, on higher difficulties, there's sometimes a guard basically standing in front of the vault, which either means you have to kill him or just don't take the armor. <laughs> so it'd be nice to have something to like move static guards temporarily somewhere and then do whatever. So the next thing is YouTuber charms or even partner charms. I think that'd be really cool to have um, custom YouTuber charms in the game. Uh, more things to do in the safe house. I'm not really sure what, honestly. It's just on the list, so. Because <laughs> let's be honest, the only reason why the safe house is there is for the safe house raid if you want coins. That's it. Let's be honest. This next one I really want in the game, honestly. Like, I did say at the very beginning, not really expecting anything coming from this video. But this next one, please put in the game. <laughs> <laughs> adding a all mask tab basically when you select a mask you have the community you have the infamy you have like normal masks and other things add another tab to that to have every single mask in the game and then add a search bar so you can search for a specific um, mask because every time a new dlc comes out i'm scrolling through everything just to find the new masks <laughs> It's really annoying. So it'd be nice to have a all mask option and then either sort them by DLC from top to bottom or have a search bar so you can search whatever your mask you want. Or even have a menu to select masks from specific DLCs or maybe specific years, I don't know. It's just really annoying to try and look for the masks that you need and um, you just can't find it because there's actually, there's so many of them. Next on my list is an anti-screen shake option. So I think that'd be cool. They fixed the flashbang option, which is good. So why not have a anti-screen shake option? There is a mod for it, so it is possible. What was that one? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. I was a bit confused. <laughs> this next one I was a bit confused by, but now I get it now. So on some heights, like the bank heist or some other ones, the SWAT team can have like tear gas going through the vents and then block off certain areas. It'd be nice to take off that gas tank from the vent. It'd be nice to do that. Next one is when you're like selecting a heist, it, there could be like a randomizer button to pick just a random heist from the giant list of freaking heists we have. Cause almost every time I just want to jump on and just play some games. Um, I try and do online, but I either lag out, disconnect, get kicked, or the players are just really bad. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what, screw this. I'm just going to go offline and play by myself on with bots or whatever. And and I'm thinking, I don't know what heist to play. So it'd be nice to have like a randomizer heist button for that. So the last one I have on my list with quality of life changes is the SWAT turret has a weak spot, but if you don't know where it is, 
then you just don't know. So it'd be nice to have like a like a yellow highlight where the wig spot is. And if you don't know, it's the little glass window that's basically in front of the turret. So it'd be nice to have a little bit of a highlight, like a yellow highlight or change the texture of it or something like, I don't know exactly, but yeah. So moving on to weapons and ammo. So first thing on my list is a right shield. I think it'd be really funny to have um, a bulletproof right shield and you can only use like your secondary which is a pistol on it whatever your secondary is i'm pretty sure it'll be pretty strong because you can just camp in a corner so have the shield have like a durability so you can't camp in a corner or make it like chip away just like the new shield person this whatever his name is i don't know what his name is but make it chip away just like that maybe like make your movement speed a lot slower as well because you know you're carrying a pretty heavy shield around so movement speed is going to go down um next one is taser bullets or shotgun shells we have all kinds of different shotgun shells so maybe add a taser bullet or shotgun shell so the next thing on the list is a decoy grenade which could act like a sentry gun the way it like takes the heat off your team for a short amount of time and the last one is a weapon which is the hnk g11 which i believe is a three round burst weapon i don't know exactly it looks cool so <laughs> and of course it's from black ops so that's why i want it in the game for <laughs> so the next thing on my list is skins more patterns and like uh, actual skins in the game not just random patterns or maybe make it like every skin that you can buy on the shop make that a free pattern that you can put on any weapon basically um being able to put patterns and skins on your attachments like separate patterns and skins on your attachments and then melee skins <laughs> being able to put random patterns and all that stuff on your melee weapons so the next thing on my list is ways to communicate with your team better and i have being able to ping stuff maybe be like rainbow six siege we can ping stuff with zed or you can use the uh metal mouse click to pin or you can press f on someone to say hello to them and when you ping something it could your character could say over there or look over there or something like that and of course using like a point animation like looking over there pointing the only the only thing i can think of is you can use the old the old pointing animation from the game i don't know if anyone knows what i'm talking about back in the day the whole like marking a guard animation was way different maybe make that the animation for looking over there or pointing at something when you mark something like that or ping i'd say i think that'd be cool uh one of the mods i have basically allows you to talk in game like saying hello and going through every single line so it's nice to have something small like that by pressing the middle mouse click and just selecting which one you want as well uh being able to trade up old skins like csgo the skins in this game basically every single one of them besides some even i think even some reds yeah i'm pretty sure most reds are three cents now but <laughs> it's interesting the most expensive thing that you can get on the market is um the saves because you can't get them anymore like currently there is a chains safe which i still remember used to be a few cents each but now it's two thousand dollars <laughs> so and of course you get like the drills the biker safe which again used to be like three cents but now it's eighteen hundred dollars in australian currency <laughs> <laughs> maybe you don't need something like csgo but it'd be nice to do something with them like even like deleting them would be something <laughs> next thing on my list is a bit of a strange one but why is the m308 so loud still Work. Next thing is more in-game trophies. We have plenty of achievements, which I'm pretty sure that won't be slowing down anytime soon because we have another DLC coming, but we don't have many, well, we have lots of trophies, but I guess, but it'd be nice to have some more. And of course, some more uh, community achievements. Just speaking of achievements, <laughs> it'd be nice to have more of them. And the last thing on this is uh, more holdout rewards. Basically just take the community's favorite masks and just make them mega. And then there's your rewards. <laughs> All right, so the last thing on my list, or the last like category, is mutations. I don't, I'm pretty sure mutations have not changed since they've been added. I don't know when they're added, but I'm pretty sure they haven't been changed. So there is a mutation called.
called Clown Army. Basically, you can select it and whatever enemy you select, it will only spawn that. So, um, add the new sniper and new shield enemy to that list. And for some reason, regular snipers are not there as well. And I think it'd be cool to have like a clown army boss type mutation. So add people like Hector to it. The snowman bulldozer from last year. Uh, the mafia boss, whatever your name was. And the boss from the, what's it called? Mountain Master Heist. The, the one with the flamethrower. Add him as a boss. I think that'd be a really fun mutation. Add like a boss mutation thing. And put every single mini boss or whatever we've ever fought over the years in there and i know they probably did this for a good reason but it'd be nice to use every single mutation and there's no like limits to like what you can't and can use or whatever for example if you select the clown army i'm pretty sure there is some things that just blacks out and you can't use anymore i understand why they would do that but it'd be nice if that wasn't a thing i mean mutations are meant to be for fun right so there really shouldn't be any limits to it and then um i have okay i called this funny and silly things or fun and silly things to add for mutations enemies have bigger heads melee only add a one hp slash armor mode basically you can select something configure it you can either select it as your armor is one hp and it's gone or one hit and it's gone or your hp or both i think that'd be a funny challenge you can add some trophies with this as well i guess you could complete a certain heist on a certain difficulty with one hp or without getting hit or something like that same thing with melee only you can add some trophies with that or achievements uh increase game speed or slow it down killing enemies will drop a random throwable basically just frag grenade uh molotov taser grenade viper grenade all that stuff some enemies will randomly spawn with an rpg <laughs> When did I write that one? <laughs> uh, next, next one is low gravity. Cloakers will charge at you instantly. Like the instant a cloaker spawns on the map, they will randomly pick a player on the map and then charge at them until they are down or if they die. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny to have something like that and cloakers can go through walls. I think that'd be really funny as well. As well. <laughs> and the last one on my list is enemies are bigger slash smaller and the voice changes as well with it. So if the enemies are small, they are high pitched and if they are bigger, then the voice is more deeper and whatever else. And I guess that can apply to the heisters as well. So that is everything on my list that's a lot of things to get through <laughs> i'm like i said i'm not really expecting much from this video it's for fun but it would be really nice and i guess flattering if some of my ideas end up in the game because i'm pretty sure i mentioned um a poison grenade in the last one and now we have the viper grenade so i'm not really saying that's co a coincidence but yeah <laughs> So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.